right, boys and girls, think we have fun? All right, our problem for today is what? 48 plus 93. Thank you. I'm only, I want to give you some think time. So take a minute, and I want you to think of different ways that you can solve 48 plus 93. I want you to show me with your hands, with your fingers, can you think of one strategy, two strategies? So take some think time, please. 48 plus 93. Okay, I see numbers ranging from one strategy all the way up to ooh, six strategies. Very good. So we're going to review what we were able to come up with this morning without using pencil and paper. Um, who would like to share their first strategy? Um, let's start with the Ahaya. You could take away two from three and put it with the A. Okay. 48 from two. Okay. And if we take two away from 93 to make 4850, do you remember what that's called? Give and take. Yeah, that's give and take, isn't it? We're also making a, what kind of number? A round number. A round number. We can also call a round number a? Friendly number. Friendly number, very good. So we now have the problem, repeat it for me, we now have? 50 plus 91. Very good. We now have 50 plus 91. Raise your hand if you thought of that strategy as well. Very good. Okay. And 50 plus 91 is what? A little too high. Let's try again. 50 plus 91. there. I don't mean to interrupt your thinking, but let's pause there. If this does not make it easier to add in our heads, is there another strategy we can use to make it easier to do the mental math? Mel? Um, if we take 7 away from 48, okay. that will give 93 the seven it needs to equal to a hundred. Ooh, okay. And what happens to the 48? 48 minus seven becomes? 41. Very good. Okay, now let's take a look at this one. What about 41 plus 100? Very good. Okay, so Yahaya, you still did a great job giving and taking, finding a round number and a friendly number but still it was a little difficult to come up with the answer quickly for mental math. Okay, so we now know the answer. <laughs> the answer is 141. Okay, your strategy was not incorrect, but we do want to think about numbers that are going to make it easier for us to do the mental math. Um, very good. So those are two different ways to give and take and to come to friendly or rounded numbers. Good job, both of you. Here, Beth, what strategy did you use? I took 93 and it added the 8. No, um, I took 48 minus 8 and added it to the 93, okay. which would equal 101. Okay. And then we had 40, so 40 plus 101 is 141. Very good. Give me a different strategy. 
something other than the giving and taking and rounding your numbers. You're doing a great job with that. Let's get a different strategy going. All right, Mr. Jordan. <laughs> well, Miss Beth calls it an advocate, doesn't she? Okay, you want to come up here and show us 48 plus 93? Okay, so what can we do if we don't have enough beads? What's similar to using this item? Algorithm. Okay, well, well, let's talk about what's similar. What's very similar to this that we could draw? No, we don't have enough beads. What, honey? Mm, not base 10 blocks, but we can use that as a strategy in a minute. What's similar to using this? Okay, expanded form. We could use that. What's similar to using this? Cal? A number line. Okay, Cal, come on up here. I'm going to start it for you. Can you show me how you would answer this addition problem using a number line? 48 plus I'm very impressed here. Okay. Thank you, Cal. Can you explain what you did here starting at 93? Okay. So you really did what to this problem? You, if you started with 93, you did what to this problem, the original problem? What property did you use? Somebody help them. What property did he use if he started with 93 instead of 48? What did he use? Your best? Commutative. Commutative property. So really, Cal right here, he started with 93 and he added 48 more. Does it end up equaling the same sum? Do we have the same sum? We, we, sure, we certainly do. So he decided what would be easiest is to start with a larger number and to add on 43. And he did end up with 141. Very good. Any others? Yeah. Hold on one second. Gianna? I used the algorithm. Okay. Show me. I stacked my numbers. Okay. Does it matter which one goes first when we add? It's 93 and then 48. Okay, we could. Do we have to start with a larger number with addition? We don't, but I always suggest that we do. But does it matter? All right. And? And then I added 8 plus 3 equals 11. Mm -hmm. And 
and then I put the one in and then carry the other one. And then nine plus one is 10 and 10 plus four is 14. Very good, very good. Any other methods or strategies that we wanna share? Okay, no? You can use number block. Okay, so our base 10 block. Okay, tell me how you would draw those out. I put a line for add. Okay. So what are we going to draw? We're going to draw four ten blocks. Okay, four tens. And eight one blocks. Okay, that's 48. And? Then nine ten draws. I love how he used the numbers. He said, I know that 50 plus 90 equals 140. Now he didn't write 140, did he? He didn't write 140. He used his place value knowledge to understand that that 100, he said, goes in the hundreds place. The 40 goes in the tens place. And he brought down this lonely one right here. He brought that down into the one place. Now, let me ask you a question. We did a lot of great work today and a lot of good thinking. Which one of these strategies do you feel is the most um, beneficial or easiest to use if you had to use mental math? If you had no pencil paper, which one of these would be the easiest for you to use? What do you think, Kennedy? I think, um, I think uh, this, I think the first one would have been easier. The first one meaning which one? Which problem? 48 plus 39, and then minus 2 or plus 2. Okay, so the way we did it right here, where you got 50 plus 91, okay, that would have been easiest for you. Uh, what about you, Yahaya? A Mel's idea. Okay, this one right here. Why would this be most beneficial or most no, efficient the, the, for you? The base 10 blocks. Okay. Oh, the base 10 blocks? Okay, he also came up with the other one. Okay, now is this the quickest way to solve a problem though? No. Okay, we learned this back in primary school, didn't we? And that was a great way to understand our numbers. Um, but the most beneficial way, meaning the quickest way to answer this problem would be what at your age and your ability? Madison? Algorithm. Okay, the algorithm. Okay, this is where we are right now in third grade. Does that mean that all the other strategies aren't important? No. No, all the other strategies are very, very important to understand and to know how to use, especially getting to a friendly or a round number, especially getting to the 100 in my opinion, because anything that ends in zero is gonna make it easier to add, isn't it? All right, you did a great job. Look at all you accomplished today. Good job. Give yourself